everybody, Corey with Scale Model Inc. here. Hey, today we're starting a new project, and we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the painting of a 1 16th scale head sculpt. And what we're using is uh, these um, head sculpts from Alpine. This is from the package from their box, uh, WW2 Allied Heads number two. And we're going to be doing this Russian officer guy right there. And this is him right there. So he is, he has been primed already and base coated. Got a light um, flesh coat on him. The whites of his eyes, I've painted in in acrylics already. And then the hat has a base coat of like a green gray. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go through um, the painting and oils of, of a 1 16th head skull. I will also be doing this um, with a 1 35th scale uh, head or a number of them. Um, I plan on doing a couple of these. Um, also going to do the uh, guy right there, the uh, uh, British guy. I've got him all primed and ready to go as well. So I'll be doing him at some point. So, yeah. So, well, let's get to painting. All right, guys. So we're going to get started here. And here are my colors that I'm going to be using. We've got asphaltum. We have yellow ochre, terra rosa. We have white. This is the titanium white. It's from Gamblin. It's called Radiant White. It's from their Radiant series. Um, and then cobalt blue. And these are all just for, we'll be using to paint the face on this, not the hat. We will be painting the hat but um, we'll need a couple additional colors. All right, so let's go ahead and get our paint onto the palette. The asphaltum, um, you'll see what I do with that. very little paint this is just the little little dab that I put out there and that's probably way too much it's hard to uh, that's a little bit of a runny but that's fine Gonna put a little bit more white because I'll be using that for a couple things. And our cobalt blue. Sometimes I use cobalt. <sighs> cobalt blue. Sometimes I use. That's way too much of that. Um, sometimes I use Prussian blue. And then burnt umber. Just gonna use an old scrubby brush here. It's got a halfway decent. This will be good. This is just a uh, cheap number six round for watercolor. Um, and this is just now. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna apply the asphaltum. all over the face here. And what this is going to, this is also what I wanted for the uh, uh, for the hair color. 
So what I'm going to do is kind of paint this on. And then I'm going to wipe it off when I'm done coating this and after it sat for a little bit. And what I wanted to do is to stain, stain the surface. And what that does, it's, and you'll notice that like a lot of people when they paint these figures, they'll do a xenothal um, coat over the prime or a xenothal prime. And I don't do that, but I more or less create a xenothal um, with my actual oil colors, and you'll see that. Uh, when I'm done here. That's what happens when I wipe it off. Because it stains. I, and I, I'm, I apologize if I'm not in the camera. I'm new to this. It's something I don't. I'm trying to work it out where I am trying to. Get it so you can watch it. It's probably really not even necessary that I'm this neat about it. This isn't how I paint. This is how I do larger scale heads. This isn't how I would do a... I might do a... Uh, a 54 millimeter of, of 132nd, but probably not a 135th scale figure. And then, um, but we'll see, and we will be doing those as well on the channel. All right. And I believe I um uh, set that down here. I believe I already mentioned that um actually I don't put that there. I believe I already mentioned that I uh ah shit. I didn't realize that was full of stuff. Okay, well, it's, it's live, folks. This is kind of stupid stuff I do. <laughs> All right. Oh, crap, I've got it in my paint here. This is the, this is the, uh, not thinner, but, uh, paintbrush cleaner. That it just spilled all over hell. And now I'm knocking the camera on. Sorry, folks. All right. And I'm going to just cover that for now. So what I what I use is I cut up little uh, makeup sponges, and that's what I'm gonna wipe off with, and that's what we're about ready to do here. Might have left this on here a little bit too long, but that's okay. Nah. <laughs> 
Oops, I hope I didn't get out of the... So what that does, like I said, is it stains the surface. And yeah, we got a nice little, um, I like what's going on there. It did not stay as much. In the hair area, but I can reapply that. No big deal. And there we go. And I think I will try that now just to put in a little bit more darkness. Asphaltum is a Fairly staining color. This is a uh, kind of a reddish brown. There. Sorry if I'm banging the camera, damn it. All right. That's what we got. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in, um, I'm going to mix my paint here. Let's go ahead and do that and mix all my skin tones up and stuff. So. so we'll go with some yellow ochre. Terra Rosa. I want that to be a little bit more red, so I'm going to try to get a little bit more. Damn. Ah. Boy, I'm just making a mess here today. That tube was leaking.
Diablo Blue. It's always blue in the skin tone mix, even green sometimes. And I just have this kind of color that I'm looking for in there. So there's pretty much that. And we'll, that's our basic skin tone. So then we're just going to And you don't really, you're just doing a small face. You don't need a bunch big piles of paint here. And I think that's good for now. Well, hope I forget, I gotta mix my darks. So I'm gonna take some more blue. our shadow tone. You just mix blue into the your base skin tone color and then add a little bit of uh, burnt umber or raw umber <coughs> into that and that gives your shadow tones. All right. <clears throat> Just kind of wipe off a little bit of excess here.
Brush your, your blending brush, you always want to, you want to put your paint in there, so always pull it out. So that is what we're looking at so far. Alright, so I'm gonna start playing some uh, mid tones here. The key thing is, you just don't want to apply a bunch of paint because this stuff spreads so easily. Apologize if I'm out of the frame. I know in the first segment I was out or down near the bottom a lot. Just not used to doing this. Nose and side of the nostrils. 
and down the side of his cheeks there. He's looking pretty good. Alright, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna put on a little bit of highlight on the hair. This is kind of a process of back and forth between lights and darks. I'm just gonna kind of like, similar to like a dry brush movement only. Of course it's not dry. It's not a lot of paint on it, but then you don't need a lot. Then I'll come back with a little bit of a pin line wash on this. Dark pin line wash. Alright. I'm liking, liking how he's looking. I think I'm going to go back in here with a, some additional highlights. Brighten that up even a little bit more. Of course, the more you do that, the when you go to the highlights, the less you use. Alright, then we're going to blend that. Alright, so there is that. I think I'm going to, I need to put a little bit of, I'm just going to go into my dark here. I'm no, just going to go into the original color there, the asphalt, and then put a little bit more. Yeah. 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 I think he's looking good. I think next we will come in and do some, uh, some darks on this set in the hair area, just kind of um, a little bit of a uh, pin line wash. And then we'll start working on the hat. Um, probably got one more round of uh, highlights to do on the face. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. Um, and then I'll dot in the eyes. I don't go through a lot of, I just basically kind of put in a real tiny little um, dark area. Uh, I Off to the side, I never put them straight on. I'm just off to the off center, either side. I think this guy, I'll have him just slightly 
looking to the left a bit, so. All right, guys, so I took some footage here that did not turn out at all. Sorry about that. But what I did is I put some more highlights on, uh, put some more darks in along the hair, uh, painted the bill, and I dotted in his eyes. So I think he's looking pretty good so far. And what we'll be working on next is the olive drab. And that's pretty much what's left. So I really appreciate um, if everybody who's stayed with us. Because I'm really f trying to figure out how to do this. Uh, some of the footage hasn't been great, I know. But I'm, I'm trying. So uh, appreciate it. Hey everybody. So as you can see, we got her all done here. Pretty happy with the way it turned out. Um, not exactly happy with the way the whole filming process went. I really apologize, guys. I'm, I'm working on trying to get down, you know, uh, and being able to do, you know, some in progress live, you know, painting stuff and uh, just having trouble, you know, getting in position where I'm in the shot what have you but anyway enough of that i'm going to give it one more try i'm going to do a 135th skill head too um and we'll see uh you know it doesn't work out i'm not going to stress out because it definitely doesn't make i i paint figures for fun and that wasn't very much fun so anyway uh here it is uh i think it turned out pretty good uh, the Alpine Miniatures 1 16th scale, um, this is the Russian officer. Yeah. Painted in oils. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. I appreciate you for hanging in there. We'll catch you on the next one.